Music is a hot topic these days, especially with the three-part Beatles documentary Get Back streaming on Disney+. Plus. Archival footage giving music lovers a close-up view of the creative process rarely seen. Syracuse University music industry professor Todd Harriman has lived it. A job out of college selling high-end synthesizers led to a gig he says changed his path in a big way. Operating one of those synthesizers for a year in studio and on tour with Prince. It was the late 1980s when the songwriting genius was working on Sign of the Times. There is so much mystique around Prince, the artist formerly known as, the mystery. And yet Todd says in the studio what it all came down to was the musician's intense focus. One of my favorite Prince stories is when we were recording literally three days straight, no sleep, and he said, Todd, that's the problem. I can't sleep at night. God hands me a groove. So I get choked up when I think about this. God hands me a groove and I can't throw it away. Hard to believe Prince has been gone five years now. But Harriman got a nice surprise when Paisley Park reissued a Sign of the Times box set last year. What I didn't know until this reissue came out was that I got uh, assistant engineer credits on uh, a number of those songs. Todd Harriman pays close attention to the release of material from The Vault, a legendary and massive collection of music that Prince's estate is sharing bit by bit with fans. And he wonders what other collaborators have pondered with each release. What would Prince think? And the response was, I hope he's looking down and saying, good, good job. From Syracuse University, I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. Great story, Tim. Tell us something good. Got a great story worth sharing? Send us an email at somethinggood at localsyr.com. That's right on your screen. Or you can post to social media using the hashtag somethinggoodsyr.